Well, our next guest is singer-songwriter, back-to-back number one hits. They've put him in the forefront of the country music scene, and boy, he has gained so many streams. We're talking over a billion global streams. Happy to have him here talking about his brand new song called Breaking In Boots. Welcome to the studio, Matt Stell. No, man, before I even before I even get going, I gotta say, pray for you. Probably hands down one of the best songs ever, and I know that really kind of launched your career. Still one you can't leave the stage without performing. Yeah, yeah. My mom would agree with you as well there. <laughs> yes. Uh, that song, no, that song changed uh that song changed a lot for us. You know, I moved to town to be a songwriter and I thought I wrote that song for somebody else and uh uh, we put it out and it kind of changed my life. But uh, yeah, it was um, it's the kind of thing like when you move to Nashville and you want to be a songwriter that you uh, that you hope happens, you know. Like and you I had pray no, for. yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, um, but yeah, no, I just mentioned my mom. I'm sure she's watching. She's a little mad at me right now. But uh, why is that? Uh oh, what do you do, mom? What do you do? Well, uh, two things. One, the last time I was home, I was watering the horses and I left the hose on for couple days. And you did not. It may have flooded out. It may have, may have just flooded the paddock just a little bit. And that, and that was my bad. Mom, I apologize. Is this and why then, she says, honey, why don't you just stay on the road? Yeah, don't help you yeah, on the farm. You know, you know she, she likes to have me around because, you know, especially when the stalls <laughs> get full of stall mess. Right. But uh, and, the then, and then I told her what song I was playing today and she loves this song, but I wrote this song like the other day that she would whatever rather me play, but I don't care. We heard you doing some stuff in Soundcheck. Yeah. Mom, I know what you're talking about and I love it as well. Yeah. But we're talking about the new song. By the way, your mom, a barrel racer, your grandmother yeah. still has a cattle operation, They're both in Arkansas, right? Yeah, my yeah. grandma turns uh, 95 in a few days, in like five days. And uh, I get to see her tomorrow, or yeah, Friday, whatever day it is. I don't never know what day you it never, is. Because you're going to the Arkansas State Fair. Arkansas State, State Fair, yeah. yeah. So we got, we're going to celebrate her. And yeah, she still runs about 100 head of cattle. Get uh, out, right. Mama cows and calves all put together. So she, uh, I, come from, uh, I come from a long line of that, so. I love it, I yeah. love that. And so I, we gotta talk about music. Mom, we're gonna be talking about Breaking In Boots. Let's talk about you writing this one. I love that you started out by song or name checking uh, the John Anderson song, Straight To Kill A Night, love Absolutely, it. Absolutely, man. John Anderson just doesn't get his flowers like he should. Man, mm, people, you know, he has absolutely. one of those voices that's like, you know, like Willie Nelson that's so distinctive that it almost becomes a parody, but it, it in a flattering way, right? But it's, it's so good and he had, so many great songs and like that song straight tequila night is mm. so good it's hard to even imagine someone writing it you just imagine one day it was like chiseled in stone and john anderson tripped over it and read it because it's so good right so yeah I, i'm a fan if you can't tell did you start with that title or, or trying to work something around the yeah. song? yeah yeah well um i did funnily funnily enough um i started that song well, let me back up. Like, like maybe the night, maybe not the night before, but a couple days before, I was in a bar that's probably a thousand feet from where we're sitting right now, mm -hmm. and uh, I was there early. I was there by myself. I was watching a game. I was gonna tab out, watching the bar fill up, and I see this girl across the bar, and it looked like somebody was shining like a light, like you know, like a spotlight. Or she was so hot, <laughs> and, I, and and I looked, and and she had on like my same, like. My same, same boots? boots that I've got on right here, pretty much. And that was going to be my line. Like, I was going to go and be like, oh, you have great taste in boots or something boot related. I was going to. Is was that gonna, your line? Matt, I, that's the best you got. All oh, right, it would have been good. Yeah. I was going to okay. throw some boot riz at her. All right. And, uh, but so I tabbed out and I went to try to like find her because we kind of locked eyes or whatever, but she was gone. And then, then the next day or two, the next time I wrote a song, my buddy comes in, uh, Ben Stennis, who wrote uh, Till You Can't, you know, mm -hmm. it was a bunch of other stuff. So he's great. Uh, ben and a couple others, we sat down to write this song, and uh, he was like, man, I got this title. I don't really know what it means, though. It's like, you know, she'll have your heart breaking in your boots. And I was like, bro, I know exactly what that means. So we sat and wrote it, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm She's really excited She's a cowboy killer. She is the, a cowboy the... killer. She's like a Marlboro Red, man. She's a cowboy killer. I love it. Well, you're yeah. going to perform that song for us. No. And a lot of guys right now, you know, we, we used to say, oh, you have an EP, you have a project. Guys are just rolling out song by song at this point. And that's, I guess, the, the take or yeah, man, whatever I mean, it is, it is. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. like there's a lot of different... I. I don't know. Like I make the music and then they decide how to deploy it. You know, I'm ready to put out a record because that's how I like. I like to listen to music. You're writing a bunch right now. You in that yeah, zone? Yeah, I write yeah. every day. I'm gonna leave here and try to make girl and truck rhyme. Okay. <laughs> 
I'm just say, you know, maybe RFD will inspire something or, you know. I, absolutely, kinda, man. I love it. I, yeah. RFD is the, the spirit animal. I mean, right here on Music Row. So. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. You know, of course, we look forward to more music coming. This guy's yeah. going to be at the Arkansas State Fair. Also going to be playing uh, for the uh, Country Cares, St. Jude. I know you do a lot and believe in them, and uh, I think that's a great thing that you do. Yeah, man. I mean, St. Jude is... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things that I'm proud of where I'm from, and St. Jude's close enough to me that I could kind of say it's where I'm from. And uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm sure you do, but mm -hmm. they they work on child killer, they work on curing childhood cancer, and mm -hmm. they've done a great job at it. And I support St. Jude proudly. Country music does, and uh, we were just sharing some stories about uh, Randy Owen from Alabama, who started it mm -hmm. and who is a huge part of it now, and is also hilarious at the <laughs> event. So it is a lot of fun. <laughs> St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is what he's talking about. Mom, I'm sending him home. Check the water yeah. after he leaves. Make sure it's not running. Sorry, I can't <laughs> play smooth, Mom. I'll play it next time. I promise. Matt Stell, breaking the boots. He's coming up.